Commander. Huh? What do we do next? Next? Uh... Hey, we can't just sit around here doing nothing. We all want to be doing something, anything, but we don't have any clue where to go next. We don't even know what Nevik is up to. Or what Yuri is up to. There is still one lead available. This place might be worth checking out. These are the canyons. Right. We passed through these canyons before. But there's also a subterranean area down below. Huh? What do you mean? Well, depending on the filters you lay on it, a map can reveal more than it does at first glance. And right here, it's well hidden. But there's a sizable thermal energy deposit in the lower canyon area. A deposit? Five years ago, a processing plant down there was shut down and abandoned for some reason. There's enough thermal energy there to supply Nevik for years. If it's been left untouched this whole time, it'd provide a good jumpstart for the Frontier Project. It's just a hunch. But if your hunch is right... Wayne, let's check it out. Yeah. Welcome back to more Lost Planet Extreme Conditions. <clears throat> Sorry about that, my voice is a little shot, but it should suffice for now. Anyways, welcome to Mission 9, where we have to go through the canyon depths. This is where the game decides to take its gloves off. It took its gloves off when we started in the volcanic area, but yeah, we're gonna have to fight more of like the boss level acred here, along with the Nevik guys who still are using their plasma weapons. I still hate the fact that plasma weapons use thermal energy. I see you over there. But, yeah. We're getting pretty close to the end here. We're only three missions away. Not, well, counting this one, yes. But, what can you do? We're just gonna have to get there and reach our destination. Which, I'm surprised it, it's gone by... Okay, I can't really say it's gone by this fast. Because it's been almost a year anniversary since I started this series. And almost two years since I started the other two. Which I still have to finish it one day or another. But, yes... We're just gonna have to continue on. We're almost at the end of this journey. It's been a long ride. But, a good ride nonetheless! Oh god. I keep forgetting that a lot of these guys carry rocket launchers on them. So, we're gonna have to avoid them. And I don't like the fact that our thermal energy goes down the same uh, way like we did out in the snow tundras. Because we're in a freaking volcanic area. Don't you think we have less consumption because we don't have to worry about keeping ourselves as warm? I don't know. That's a little bit nitpicking on this game. But, eh, what can you do? What can I, what I can do is take out the sniper rifle. And snipe that asshole. Snipe this asshole. Machine gun this asshole. And blow up these assholes. I said blow up these assholes. Come back! I want to blow up your asshole! I mean, what? Uh, I can explain. Oh, I wonder why people enjoy the content I make. By me just rambling on like a madman. Uh, ooh, rocket launcher. As soon as these guys are cleared out, we can find out where the hell we need to go, which, if I remember right, is where I goofed in the last video, because I thought there was a part of the bridge that had, like, a bunch of guards in it. Or, no, I think we have to go the complete opposite direction we just came from. Yes, yes, we know already. We're not, we haven't been this far in the game without knowing what the freaking data posts are. Not taking out the plasma weapons because they suck. We, well, in this game. In the second game, they're actually better because you don't lose as much thermal energy using them, and in general. Oh god. 
Alright. And I can't snipe you out of that, but what I can do is hopefully take out the guards that are inside these turrets. This might end badly. Or not. Well, it could end badly if I can't see what the hell I'm shooting at. Alright. Data post is pointing that way, which means I have to go that way, which means I have to go past all these guys. So what I'm going to do... What the hell? Okay, apparently what I can do is go through objects. No, what I'm going to do is take this rocket launcher as extra insurance. Is there anything I can use? Energy gun. Take this rocket launcher ammo. Don't know what... What the hell it was doing inside the crate? Half in, half out. Plasma gun, sniper rifle. Not really my speed. I'd rather go with the heavy artillery to take out these VSs that are over here. And our goal is right up there. Probably shouldn't be shooting at it because, uh, well, I don't want to aggro the enemies, so I'm just gonna stick to high ground. And we will have victory, because if Star Wars taught me anything, instead, if you have the high ground, you can always find victory. Which is funny, I'm actually in a volcanic area saying that. And boop. And boop. One more should do it. Yep, alright. Um... You're going to start shooting at me as soon as I come down. I'm not going to waste a rock on you. Well, if I don't have to. Boop. Just going to take care of these. Oh yeah, that's right. Three rockets to take these things down. I think it varies on the BS model. Since these are like the more slim, less less defensive ones on like, like the main ones Navic uses. They take less damage, but are more maneuverable. I don't know. It just always felt like these ones were faster, but weaker. Ow. What the hell is shooting at me? Oh. I'm not saying to find out, because I just want to kill you and get a move on. Get that other data post. Let's head on down. Oh god, the music started up. You know what that means. Shit has officially gotten it down it. What the hell is sniping me? I can't see where these shots are coming from. There's probably someone over yep there. Whoa! It's also these assholes! Wait for it, wait for it. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, maybe the problem's not that solved. Anyone up here? Yep. I'm surprised I've been doing so well. It's been going rather smoothly, and I don't know if I should be saying that because I'll probably end up jinxing myself and have to fight that annoying as hell boss that we did last time. God damn, that thing sucked! Seriously, I don't know if anyone else who's played this has had as much trouble with that boss as I have, but my god, that boss has always been the biggest pain in the ass when I played this. Such a good game, always has to have that one boss that you despise. Uh-oh. Oh, please tell me there's lava and it needs to get damaged. Please tell me. Also, you know what? Screw you guys. That's right, these ones explode. I, I, I think of the second game's version. This hopping bunny rabbit over here is getting on my nerves. Alright, where is this guy? I'm sad that the lava flow stopped because that would have been funny to see him die from it. Where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. You son of a bitch. Come on. Come on! Come on! Come on! Die already! Thank you. I want you to die! No, I never actually know what's what's up there. I wanna go check. It's probably a dead end knowing me me and my luck, or I can't even grapple onto this thing. 
And again, I have been proven a liar before in the past. Probably the only thing that's up here is like a target pattern. Or a wall. Okay. Would have been funny if there was like heavy ordnance up there. It was just waiting in the lava flow this entire time for me to pick it up. Just like this thing was. I, I'm not really going to go with it. I got plenty of ammo with my machine gun. Honestly, I'd rather have a sniper rifle or a shotgun. What the? I don't know why this guy's just laying here dead. And then there's these assholes down here. I'm sorry, right. there's just a random dude just standing here fighting off against all these acrid. Well, okay, there's a guy over there shooting, but still. So you know what? You guys can deal them for once. I'm gonna go over here. Is that a sniper rifle or a shotgun? Shotgun! I will take the shotgun. Especially in this area because we're about to go into close quarters. So, yeah. Pretty close to the end. Not really much to say about it. It's... I'm also shocked that I said this was going to start out that it's almost as hard as when we are going coming in. So far I've been kicking ass! And now that I said that, everything's going to come and destroy me. Just like that! Alright. God, those things have a lot of range to them. Right. Over here, another random dead dude over here just... Chilling over by the data post. If I remember right, there is a drill VS, so we want to get into that thing because we can plow through some tunnels. And I think this is it right here. Nope. Oh, no, wait, it's up here. You have to do a little like grapple, grapple maneuver ability. It's kind of hidden off to the side, but going down here. Bam! Oh. Ready. Well, VS nonetheless. Of course, it's using a laser, and I really don't like lasers because they suck. But whatever. We just can't have to deal with it. Plow our way right through these barriers. Get back here. Nope. Alright. Knock, knock! Oh, wait, it was down here that that's where the drill BS was. I'm an idiot. This window was like, eh, well. I think we come up to another one! Oh, God. Later in the tunnels, or at least at the end of the tunnels. Although I do, I, I do take back what I said about the EM laser being sucky. And given enough thermal energy, which I have over like a thousand to burn, it, this thing's good because it stuns the acrid. And you're dead. And you're dead. Right? Right! Yeah, right. Now you are. Alright, who else wants a piece of me? Huh? Huh? I can feel like I can take on the whole acre colony myself. Shotgun! I'll take that! Uh, cattails, I'm not gonna deal with you guys because you're assholes. Oh, hey, it's you assholes! I haven't seen you guys in a while- OH GOD! I also haven't seen you in a while! How's it going, buddy? Where the hell did you come from? How do you like the fact that you were once a boss and now have been downgraded to common enemy? Probably didn't like my, my little snide towards him, that's why he charged at me. Uh, you know what, I've actually been liking the EM laser, I'm gonna stick with it for a while. Or test it on some VS's if we ever come across any. Right. Right. Go. Go! Thank you. Oh, there was some down there. Ah, well. I'm not gonna deal with it. I just wanna get out of the tunnels. Oh god! You should know better than mess with me when I have a shotgun! You should see me when I have a sniper rifle! I'm ten times as worse. 
Well, you should see it because I fail spectacularly. Keep drawing some thermal energy. Damn it, I said no cattails. I don't like that rumbling. I hope it's just this guy rolling around at the speed of sound. Because he has places to go to follow that rainbow. Also, should probably pick up this Gatling gun because I'm out of shotgun ammo. Goddamn cattails everywhere. Always trying to ruin my day. This is why we can't have nice things because these cattails always get in the way. Um, I need to drill through that. Is there a drill VS anywhere near here? Is this wide enough for my VS to even get it is? I have complete no idea where the hell I'm going, just to let you know. Oh god. Oop! Oh, the music picked up, so that means something's happening. Oh hey, there's a target! I get it. Might as well just get it while it's here. Does, does targets feel very Resident Evil 4-ish? I don't know if this came out before Resident Evil 4 was a thing, or after. But yeah, it, it gives a very big Resident Evil vibe. Can I even get up there? Come on. Come on. Nope, yes, it's too fat. Let's deal with these jerks. And then deal with these jerks. I right, have a window, head up here. I think this is the one VS that's that's like the humanoid version. Yep, I was right. Uh, unfortunately, it has no armaments. Uh, oh, thankfully we have an alternative over here. Yes, hover dash VS saw. When in doubt, I can just saw them to death. All right, take the Gatling gun. Take the rocket launcher, let's go kick some ass, because with our 4,000 thermal energy, I hear a bunch of rumbling, which means this asshole's back. So we're going to kill him like the rest. Come on, reload. How was that? Ah, oh, physics, that's what. Oh, the VS garage. I think the spider VS is in here. And don't tell me there's a sec. Okay, no, it's just this one. Damn surround sound! Should be dead, his ass is glowing red, so that means he's almost dead, hopefully. I'll probably switch to the, the Spider VS. I know it's not its official name, I just call it that because that's pretty much what it is. I'll do that right after I take up this spawner. Or just kill all these dudes. Either or. Either way, I get thermal energy in the end, so that makes me happy. Grab ourselves data post, get some more thermal energy, then we'll go take the VS and then, I don't know, wreck some shit, maybe, possibly. The music's being overly dramatic for me just activating the data post. What's that supposed to mean? Who knows? I didn't notice. Oh, no, wait, that's this laser. Tank mode, cannon, drill, drill, dash, transform. Alright. Transform and roll out. Oh god, why is there a sphincter here? Alright, what do we have to deal with? Why do we have to fight? We have to- Oh my god! Nope, 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 so much nope! 
So much nope. Uh-uh. Uh, no. Uh-uh. No way. Not now. Not ever. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. 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 Okay, and all honestly, this boss isn't hard to fight. All you have to do is just take out its legs. Take out two, and then it falls to its side, becomes vulnerable, and then just have to shoot at the top. This is actually one of the easiest bosses in the game, but still. It's a giant freaking volcano spider. That is all kinds of no, in my opinion. These are the worst kinds of spiders. I don't care if I'm in a spider VS myself. I, I, I wouldn't. I'd just be like, no, I'm not dealing with this. Not now. Not today. Just, just, just no. Alright. Take out your leg again. Take out your leg. Come on. Turn around. That's a good spider. That's a- oh god, that's terrifying. I fell right on the VS. What the hell? That's me. Right. I think he has invincibility frames as soon as like he starts growing his legs back. Come on. Come on. You're so close to dying. I think this this drop might be it. Oh, we got five rockets left, so I have to make these five rockets count. Remember serves me right in the sequel, these uh lost mine too. Uh the BS is rocket launcher. Well this version in particular had unlimited rockets. You just, you just really don't want to make my job that much easier, do you? It also doesn't help with the fact that I'm completely out of rockets. It also doesn't help with the fact that this VS is completely shot up right now. Right. This is probably a dumb idea! Ow. Probably should have waited until I got over to the damn VS before I swapped them. Ow! I'm okay. Right. Dodge roll like a badass. Get out into the VS. Get in the VS. And get the hell out. Oh god, what the hell was that? And of course, there's the LP curse coming back when I said this boss is easy, and he's literally kicking my ass and wasting all my precious thermal energy. And there goes the last of it. Shit. Don't tell me I'm gonna die this thing because I'm running out of thermal energy. This thing's freaking hurricane of spider went out. Don't you dare tell me I'm gonna die to this damn thing. What the hell is with What the hell's with me dying to such easy bosses all of a sudden? Ow. Okay, note to self, spider webs bad thing. They hurt. Ow. I'm gonna freeze out I'm gonna freeze to death, aren't I? You have got to be kidding me. Unbelievable. Okay, seriously, what is it with me killing every boss that gives me trouble the second time I run through it? This has actually gotten to the point it's gotten ridiculous. 
But whatever. Giant terrifying volcano spider is now dead, and I never have to see the damn thing ever again! Why do I get the feeling I'm gonna eat my words? Alright. Thermal energy, got that. Playtime, 75 acred, 18 humans, 4 BSs. And if you couldn't tell already, uh, actually I don't know what the word spells out. Oh well, who cares? Mission over. Head on. Well, with that said and done, next time on Lost Planet, we're gonna continue on to mission 10. Or was it mission 11? I don't remember. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Later. Joe sure put us through a whole lot of trouble. What? When did he disappear? <gasps> nice try. But things like that will get you killed, brother. Bendero. I was curious. I had to see the latest harmonizer model for myself. Shut up! <laughs> what a waste to give it to someone like you. <laughs> There are far too many modified humans in this world for my taste. said anything about killing them change of plans on whose authority yours Eisenberg's plan was to keep them distracted while he started up the frontier system the warming would bring about the end of the acred and transform this into a green paradise then when they saw the result they would come to see the light the only green fields you'll be seeing are the Elysian variety what Seeing as how nothing will be left alive on this rock once the frontier system is set into motion. All this talk of heating the planet is only after all life has been exterminated. That can't be. Now. Harbingers of a new tomorrow. A message for us officers. I'll let you listen to this one. For 150 years, colonists have endured the unpredictable conditions of this planet. Endless battles against the mysterious Acrid. The Separatists, who have formed the Snow Pirates and dog our every step with constant violence. But now, the Frontier System will deliver us from our tormentors. Clean energy will set it into motion and rid us of the Acrid and other unpleasant elements. Plaguing this world. The acrid eradication will also provide a release of thermal energy that will serve to heat the atmosphere. <laughs> Unpleasant elements. That must sting. While the system is running, we ask that you proceed to the orbital elevator and initiate the hibernation process. The facility there will protect you from the energy output by the system. Once the world has been terraformed, you will be the first to witness the verdant utopia that looks awaits. good. Hmm. It looks like it'll do. Well, I'll make it do. In the end, this third of the colonial planets will be transformed into a paradise, welcoming colonists from our polluted home planet with open arms. The valuable resources lying untapped, hidden under layers of ice, will not only bring prosperity to Nevik, but to the human race. Uh. We are the pioneers exploring the wonders of this brave new world. Hey, you better be listening to this. It's time to proceed to the orbital elevator. Enjoy a pleasant rest. We will soon meet again, brave pioneers. Heard enough? We are near the time of our parting. Quiet, Joe! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> Trap. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. <laughs> <laughs>